In this lesson, we are going to get started with our first reinforcement learning task called Cartpole. This task is a famous toy problem and it will help you understand the Jim API. And in this lesson in particular, I'm going to show you how to start the simulation of this task in Jim. But before we do that, let's go to this uh, sim tasks webpage in Jim and take a look at what the simulation looks like. The task involves a black cart, which has a freely swinging pole attached to it. The pole tends to fall under its own weight when the cart moves. And the task is to learn how to move the cart so that the pole doesn't fall and to maximize the duration that the pole stays upright. So I've written down the task over here and the duration is capped to a maximum of 10 seconds, which means that if you, if the agent manages to keep the pole upright for 10 seconds, then the task is considered done. Here is a simple diagrammatic representation of the task. And of course, moving the cart is the action. The environment consists of the cart and the pole. So it's called the cart pole environment. But notice that we don't have any mention of a cumulative reward. And that's normal because most of the time reinforcement learning tasks will be formulated in terms of real world outcomes, such as maximizing duration of the pole staying upright. And it's our job as reinforcement learning engineers to engineer or construct rewards such that maximizing the cumulative reward is equivalent to the desired real world outcome. And I've also shown the duration on the maximum duration of this task in this diagram. And as you can see, it's capped to 10 seconds. An agent which is successfully trained using reinforcement learning will act like this. And as you can see that the pole stays upright for the entire 10 second duration. So let's learn how to tell Jim to start the simulation of this reinforcement learning task. And this involves three steps. The first step is to visit Jim's environment page. And I will put a link in the lecture in the, in the video description and find the reinforcement learning task. So let's go to this link. And as you can see, that in the classic control section of this page, we have the task that we are looking for. So that's the first step, find the task. The second step is to note the name of the task in the web page. And this is what Jim calls this task. And as we can see, Jim calls this task cart pole hyphen V1. And then the third step is to write the following code. So first we import Jim. Then we call the Jim.make function and pass the name of the reinforcement learning task, which we found out from the web page as the argument. So Jim.make and pass the name as a string to the function. And this will return an object representing the simulation. In reinforcement learning, the task and its simulation is usually called an environment. And therefore, we are going to store the return value in a variable called env, which is the short form of environment. Every environment defines an initial state. And our next job is to ensure that the environment is reset to that initial state. And we can do that by calling env.reset. Now this command returns something, but don't worry about that. We will discuss this return value in the next lesson. But the main point is that once you call env.reset, 
then the simulation starts. So env.reset basically starts the simulation. So after the simulation has been started, you can visually inspect the environment anytime by calling the env.render function. So let's do that. And as you can see, this pop-up window appears, which shows you the state of the environment at the initial state of this simulation. The important thing is that the render function only works if reset has been called before. Otherwise, you will get a black screen because if you don't call reset, then the simulation won't have started. So that's why env.render will return a black screen instead of this. One annoying thing about this pop-up window is that you cannot close it by merely clicking the cross button in the window. The only way to close this window is to call the env.close function. Otherwise, if the window was opened by a script, then the window is closed automatically when the script finishes or when the environment is garbage collected. So that's how you start a simulation of a reinforcement learning task in GIMP.